Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We need to talk uh, today about the content that is coming on this Friday of FIFA Ultimate Team. Summer Heat is continuing. The best promo, yes, I'm going to say it, the best promo we have ever seen in FIFA Ultimate Team continues again today. And they never disappoint on Fridays, at least during this promo. They have not disappointed on Fridays. The last week, if you remember, was pretty dope with the Ribery. Uh, SBC, two new objectives, and Babu and Pope. Those are expiring today. Could we see another SBC? Could we see more objectives? And of course, we're expecting some other things that we already know about and can plan for today as well. The Party Bag SBC, since it didn't come out on Thursday, it was put into the code kind of early Thursday. And since it did not actually come out on that day, I do think we are going to see the Party Bag SBC today in FIFA Ultimate Team, along with some other SBCs. So I'll talk about that kind of stuff today, what kind of market impact we could have, and then also um, just talk about the Bernardo Silva SBC that came out. Just everything market related, because there's a lot of stuff happening, especially gonna be coming tomorrow with the vote that we had today. And that's what I wanna start off by talking about today is this vote right here, the La Liga nominee. Uh, this is the La Liga nominee for Summer Heat with the vote. We've got Langley, Zhao Felix, and Teo. Obviously, this one's going to come down to Langley and Zhao Felix. I myself voted for Zhao Felix just because we have so many other French center backs. And I feel like a summer heat Zhao Felix would be dope. But I think Langley is going to win by a landslide here. So many people want this Langley card. Imagine the boost this guy's going to get, right? Probably 93 or 94 rated. And everybody's going to want to do this SBC. This SBC is going to probably be one of the, I'm going to say the third highest in demand summer heat SBC we've had so far. Think about last week with Usman on Sun on Saturday. Similar levels of hype to Usman and Ribery, in my opinion, with this Langley. So many people are, are going to want to do this card. And I think that if you are planning to do this SBC and you have maybe French center backs in your club, um, tradable, or maybe... Uh, we'll look at the market, like all things related to this card. I think it is going to cause the market to kind of go down. And even today on Friday, this SBC comes out tomorrow, by the way, but the vote was today. The vote was Thursday. This will come out on Saturday tomorrow, but I think that SBC is going to cause a lot of, you know, panic and a lot of selling on Saturday, which we could see a rebound into the, later in the evening on some cards. So I want to talk about that a little bit as well, but first the content for today, again, since we didn't get the party bag SBC, today on Thursday, are we going to get it on Friday for our content, right? Are we going to get that party bag? I really hope that we do. They said in the code, and this is what makes it interesting, right? The, the party bag that was entered into the code, it was only road to the final. It was only uh, future stars and but birthday cards. So no screams, no man of the matches or anything like that. They, they didn't even put those in just road to the final, um, but birthday and future stars i kind of blanked there for a second but those three right since they've given us the 88 plus guarantees already i really like this sbc which i have to do the second one still there's so many sbcs to do right now they're just sucking our clubs dry of whatever coins that anybody in this game might have but um i really hope that if they put the party bag out that it's pretty cheap it's gonna have to be decently cheap like an 83 rated squad and that's it honestly if they did an 83 rated squad like right now to do an 83 rated squad on FIFA Ultimate Team, it literally costs you like, um, all 83s are like four, 5,000 coins, like 50, 60K for that SBC, I think would be probably a bit too cheap for what EA would want to release it, but maybe two 83 rated squads would seem kind of like legit, I guess, or like reasonable. Now, I know that might be a bit expensive to some of you guys, because that's the same price as Wynaldum, and Wynaldum's like 150,000 coins, I think, 140, 130K. So would you rather have Wijnaldum or the chance of packing a full birthday card? People would still do the party bag SBC today if that does come out. So I'm expecting that SBC today on Friday, as well as at least two objective players. I don't know if we'll get another player SBC, but there's been a couple rumblings, a couple rumblings around of what the objective players could be today on FIFA. Some people are saying that since these objectives are related to Summer Heat fan favorites, Think back into FIFA at some other fan favorite cards that we've had and what they're doing. There's basically boosting them. If you haven't caught onto that already, this is based on the road of the final in Babu. This is on the foot birthday Pope. One uh, name that has been thrown out today is Footmas Malqui. If you remember that Malqui right back card, 
was a hit during Footmas as one of the best French right backs in the game. That could be a card that they put out in objectives. Two right back objectives in a row week per week. Is that too much? I don't know, but that is sort of, I guess, a leak or not confirmed, but people have been talking about the Footmas Malakui getting re-released uh, today in FIFA, as well as possibly a Captain America, aka Christian Pulisic objective because he did not get into the uh, Team of the Week this week. People thought that was kind of interesting that he didn't get into Team of the Week, so maybe he has himself a Summer Heat card incoming, which would be dope. That'd be awesome if he did. Uh, and then for SBCs, what could we have? Honestly, it could be random. They could drop one of those Summer Heat fan favorite SBCs just on its own and not do a dynamic duo or a vote or anything like that. They could honestly just drop a random player like they did last week with Ribéry. They could just drop a Summer Heat player right in the SBC section as a boosted player today as a part of FIFA Ultimate Teams. Well, I would expect any of those things in any way, shape, or form. But honestly, I would almost count on objectives, right? I would almost count on objectives because we only have basically one week left. If you see up here, seven days left in the season. And then we're going to be going into a new season. So if you haven't finished Bruno, you've got basically seven days to do that. And I think what they'll do is they'll put another week's worth of two objective cards in here, kind of like the Zlatan and um, Kubo type feel, I guess, with the grind. These two guys were very, very easy. I feel like they'll do two more, at, le at least one. One or two more objective players today as a part of what could be coming out as a Friday content of FIFA Ultimate Team. Of course, Mendy, if you haven't finished him yet, is going to expire in seven days as well. A lot of people have been asking me, we haven't had a like really grindable SBC card in the past two weeks. Like really, really grindable uh, since Bruno and since um, Ferlin Mendy. True. But also, I think the way that EA looks at it is since these guys are going to be expiring in a week, a lot of the casuals in this game, it takes them a while to grind through some of these challenges in the lower divisions. You know, that's no no shot at you maybe being a Div 10 to 8 player. Uh, not No shot at all. You can obviously improve and keep going. And, and EA just wants to give you ample amount of time for whoever, regardless of skill or ability, is going to be completing these objectives. So that's why I think uh, that we haven't got another big-time grindable objective like Fernandez or... Um, or Ferland Mendy. But speaking of Bruno Fernandez, one thing that's not being talked about a lot that is coming today is player of the month. POTM is coming today. Yes, probably early in the daytime, early in the morning or mid afternoon, I think we will see the winner of player of the month for the Premier League. And it's kind of coming down to a couple people. In my opinion, it's between Alan St. Maximin, Anthony Martial, and Bruno Fernandez. A lot of people think Bruno's going to win this award. What does that mean? If Bruno does win, how hype is it going to be? I don't think it's going to be that hype. The problem is if St. Maximin wins, what are they going to do with his card? All right. Well, let's just look at this for reference, right? Havertz won Bundesliga Player of the Month like what? Last week or, or two weeks ago? He got a 90 rated card. They did, they did not surpass his team of the season. They What they do when they upgrade these Player of the Months is they go to the highest rated performance-based special card. So we had a man of the match that was 89 rated. So they did the upgrade based on that card. They gave him a plus one based on his man of the match card. So we got plus ones and plus two in all stat categories. So if Bruno Fernandez does win the player of the month award today, what are they going to base his card off of? They're going to base his card off the 90 rated um, player of the month that he previously had before the summer heat. This was his best version in game. 1.1 million coins when it came out in, what was this, February, early March? Crazy that it's this price with how expensive fodder is. Uh, but if Bruno gets player of the month today, I think it's going to be 91 rated. They would not surpass this 94 rated unless EA would break their own rules and really be out to suck coins off of this game and create a lot of hype. Because if Bruno does win, I think it'll be a 91 rated card, probably with very similar stats to this one. And it'll just kind of be whatever, right? Because everybody already has the 94 or people that want Bruno will already have the 94. The problem that we run into is if um, Alan St. Maximin wins player of the month, he could very well get an 88 rated player of the month card today. If he does end up winning, and obviously player of the month is not really based on fan vote. It's like 10% fan vote, and it's all about who scores the most goals and who wins the popularity contest. That is what player of the month is in the Prem. And Alan St. Maximin right now, 
if you're a bit scared, I wasn't really thinking about this earlier, but if he does end up winning, which I think he's like second in line, but he still could win. Um, what would he do if, if he did, if he gets a player of the month SBC, how much would it cost? What would EA value it at? Would he have a five-star weak foot? Probably not. What position would it be? Probably left wing, right? I think that's what St. Maximin plays mostly. That's what he played earlier this month when he got this 86 in form. So we probably have an 87 or an 88 rated player of the month card, and it probably would be cheaper than 717,000 coins. So if that does happen, you would see a probably a panic sell on this card, regardless of the position or if it's got a four-star weak foot upgrade. Because if a player of the month comes out for St. Maximin today, it's probably going to be cheaper than 700k. So I think you would see a panic sell. But then if the car does not have five-star weak foot, if it's left mid um, or left wing, I do think you would see a rebound on this card's price. Um, but, um, you know, that's kind of a tricky situation. And then if um, if Martial would win, that could be very interesting as well because um, Martial's Player of the Month card would probably be 89 rated, which would be a pretty solid-looking card. But I feel like they'd have to make it pretty cheap in order to be a NSBC that people would be interested in. So that's kind of the thing with player of the month today. Can you invest for it? No. At this stage of the game, none of these cards are really going to be game breaking. St. Maximin would be the one that would bring the most hype, I think, uh, to FIFA. But that is coming today. And I, I think it's been overlooked by a lot of people. So I wanted to mention that um, in the video today that player of the month should be coming day on FIFA Ultimate Team. So again, just covered a lot of those things. I want to talk about the post rewards market and what is kind of happening right now on the market as well. Um, speaking of the Langley SBC, there's already been some market movements related to the Langley card or the, the Langley card that could be winning, right? This Mark andre Ter Stegen, I talked to you guys about buying him on Thursday uh, before rewards, Wednesday night, Thursday timeframe. This guy was 180,000 coins. He went up a little bit today with rewards. He was like 210, 215, and he's gone up a decent amount since the Langley um, has been dropped as a vote. 225K for Ter Stegen. So actually some of the goalkeepers did, um, they did pretty good today. Um, I need to look at Yashin as well because Yashin is somebody who I mentioned you guys could, could buy for a weekend league flip. This guy was like 370, 380. Looks like he's a 400k right now, which is not too much profit. But I did see him at like 415, 420 earlier. So maybe a Friday night sale on a guy like this could get interesting uh, for some of that as well. I did the one of the biggest profits I had this weekend was on actually team of the season, Allison. Um, this guy I bought for 130, 140,000 coins and I sold him today for like 160. So that was actually a really, really solid investment. Uh, just the links that this guy gives and uh, people using Brazilian cards in this game and uh, Premier League center backs as well. This guy did rise up very nicely in the past two days. 155 right now on the market. He was 160 earlier getting sales there. Um, one investment I had that kind of flopped today, unfortunately, was the Ben Yedder Shapeshifter card. This one kind of flopped today um, because... Yeah, I don't know, man. I really don't know. I, I just think it's all the supplies why this card really flopped today. Um, some of these icons did okay. Um, the Garincha was actually just a break even. I made some decent money on Blanc. I bought this for 180. Awar I bought for 215. Carvajal Hall I bought for 185. So I'm kind of thinking about getting rid of my Carvajal Halls and my Lalas because if, uh, again, if Malqui does get that card, an SBC or a um, an objective today. Now again, this is purely speculation. It's nothing guaranteed, but we would see it probably a really really. Uh, an intensive drop if another French right back like that would get released. Carvajal, Carvajal, I still kind of like though, to be honest with you. I still kind of like Carvajal because even if we do get Malqui, how are you going to link a Langley to Malqui with just one link? I guess some, some people just need one link for the, all the French links that are, that are out right now. I originally liked this guy because of the links that he would get to a new Langley SBC that would come on Saturday. But I'm also, if Malqui comes, that's going to really shake up the right back market. So just kind of take it easy there, I guess, if, and use exercise some caution, I guess I could say. Exercise some caution with some of those cards on the market. A lot of stuff, though, is inflated just because of the weekend, right? It's post rewards. We're heading into the weekend league. A lot of people are playing games with some of these new cards uh, on FIFA Ultimate Team. And you're seeing some of the prices that have gone up. Um, if you have French center backs like this Upamecano, 
He was 320K last night. As you see, right now he's 360 uh, with a bid at 330 there. I would take the cash on your French center backs. If you've got, um, you know, almost any tradable center back in the game. If you've got a Ramos team of the season card, I feel like Ramos and Varane are going to be directly impacted um, by the new Langley SBC. So I want to give you guys a heads up and say, hey, maybe you take the cash on some of these La Liga center backs and some of these French center backs in the game now before things could get pretty hairy on Saturday. And even today, today could be a pretty big time content day on the market. So maybe like if you have Prime Blanc or Moments Blanc, just be kind of careful with those guys because you could see a drop on them when Lengle does um, out in FIFA Ultimate Team. Now, again, today on Friday, a lot of people are going to be buying cards for Weekend League. So if you do see some market movements, be on the lookout for Team of the Season cards and for Icons especially. Panic in certain areas in the market because of SBCs that are released or because of objectives that are released. Watch some panic, especially if it's on an Icon, a center back, or maybe a um, like a center mid. Just a very meta and usable card in this game. A guy that I look at all the time is Desai. Because this this prime card is very rare. A lot of people like to use him. Yeah, he's 500,000 coins. He was 420k earlier in the week. And even though we have French center backs on the horizon, this guy maintains a high price. So just be careful with some of this stuff. If you see big drops in price on icons, icon moments, out of pack stuff like team of the season cards, and maybe some shapeshifters tomorrow, maybe some shapeshifters, I would get interested in that from a panic selling perspective because people tomorrow after the content, whatever comes out, will be buying some cards back to finish off their weekend league teams uh, that they'll be playing with this weekend. Last thing, Bernardo Silva that came out today, this card didn't cause the hype that I thought it could have because EA could have juiced this card up a little bit more. I would have loved to see 80 physical, uh, give him a little bit more strength, I guess, maybe a little bit more aggression. Boost up his shooting even a little bit more. Like give him 95 finishing shot power only at 88. It's a bit eh. Uh, but suppose this guy is very, very meta in game. And I really, really wish they would have given the five star weak foot. Like why not? At this stage of the game, EA Sports, why not give him a five star weak foot? But we did get Bernardo. He was the summer heat vote winner from earlier this week. If you haven't done Vinicius yet, which I need to do him soon, definitely get on doing Vinicius. Two days left on the upgrade packs as well. So those, the time on those is kind of trickling down if you are uh, interested in doing those 84 plus and holding some of those for batch three, which is going to come next week. And also um, the 85 to 92, which is the most grindable upgrade we've ever seen in FIFA Ultimate Team for guaranteed high rated SBC fodder. So if you're scared of the content that's coming out today, maybe you get liquid with some of the cards that you've got. Um, you know, I've got some cards here that I have listed up. I have two list up for sale. Um, I accidentally released this guys overnight. So I'm probably going to take the coins on these Carva Halls right now. Honestly, I'll go 210 and just, um, just kind of get rid of my risk, right? This is what I've done the past two weeks during summer heat and the Fridays have caused some price movements. So I'm probably going to take the coins on my Carva Halls. I'll leave my Ter Stegen there. Ter Stegen could be a guy. If you see panic selling today, you could maybe look to pick up on a Ter Stegen or two. If he drops like 20, 30,000 coins, because, um, of course, the links to Leng Lei are going to be massive for this guy. So if he goes back down close to like the 200K price range, I would get very, very interested in this card right here just for the links that he will provide on Saturday when people get their Leng Lei cards and still being one of the most OP keepers in FIFA Ultimate Team. So again, today, a summary. What can you expect? Party bag SBC, new objectives, possibly a new SBC, and um, player of the month for the Premier league that should be the content that we see today on fifa ultimate team if you enjoyed the video smash the thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel for you it's been nate the foot accountant catch you guys later peace out